Hello and welcome to Jamie's Motion Graphics. Today we are taking a look at how to make gears or sprockets or whatever you want to call them. And we're just going to create one from scratch in After Effects. So yeah, enjoy and uh, hope you learned something. Okay, here we are in After Effects. Let us start with a new composition. Obviously you can make this in your normal composition as well. I'm going to set this to 30 seconds. Not that it matters for now, but yeah, well, I'm still going to do it. And there we go. So what we want to do is we're going to start off with a shape layer and we're going to make out of this a star. So select the star tool and we're going to just create one of these uh, these shapes. Obviously sprockets have quite a lot of uh, well thingies on them. <laughs> Teeth, that's what they're called. And um, we're going to just create something with an, a bunch of these. So uh, set this to uh, to off actually. The stroke is going to be off. That's that one. And then the fill is going to be something grayish probably. Maybe a little blue gray. But hey, it all depends on what you want. And this is my color. So this is not a sprocket yet. It actually looks more like the sun. Uh, what we want to do is we want to set this this uh, polystar as it's called. Yeah, it currently has 21 of these little thingies. Uh, you do that with the mouse wheel, by the way, in case you were wondering. And we're going to set this to, well, everything zero, basically, except for, of course, the radius. But we're going to make that 100 to 200 and then set all the transforms to zero. So zero, zero, scale, of course, can stay that way and by doing so we make it easier for ourselves to make this next mask because well we also need a mask and we're going to use that mask to actually paint on and paint off the things that we well want extra or don't want at all first of all we're going to create with the same midpoint but we'll set that in a moment we're going to create an ellipse there you have it and the ellipse will show up over here. That one goes to zero as well, so zero, zero. And we're going to go to the ellipse path and set the size so that, well, it's actually kind of good already. What we want is we want this part to be smaller than the part of the actual spokes because, well, we need that. Let's just call it that. Uh, so currently, let's make it 260, nice numbers. And then we're going to create a mask now. So everything is set to zero, which means that the, they have the same center, which means that this all looks okay. So to create a mask, you have to select this button. The tool creates mask. And then we're going to set that to, well, something. Uh, currently, it's just about in the middle, but we want it exactly in the middle. So let's... Um, Let's go ahead and just pick up one of the circles that we could possibly make. So minus 160, uh, minus 160, 160, and 160. So that way it's exactly in the middle. And as you can see, it's pretty close to being a good gear. As in, this part needs to be the same as this part, and it's not that far off. The one that actually needs to change is this ellipse. It needs to go a little bit to the middle. And then if we click here again, it actually looks like this part could fit into this part. Not a tight fit, but it shouldn't be a tight fit. But it, this amount, so this little thing here, needs to be equal to this little thing here. So if we draw back the mask a little bit, and we can do that with the expansion here, then we can actually uh, make that happen. And of course you can make the look of it uh, even better by uh, by just adjusting the parameters because you can adjust the inner and outer radius to make uh, the slope here different and you can uh, change the, uh, the, the the ellipse and the mask to make the teeth bigger or smaller or do whatever really. So um, yeah, this is not really completed yet. We are also going to put in a second mask and to do that we're going to duplicate this mask uh, because then they're exactly the same and then we're going to set the expansion to a whole lot less and set it to subtract 
and that is our middle part so basically the hole in the middle and then we can if we want to make some adjustments here make like kind of decorations on there but that's all up to you uh, this is basically what I wanted to show you it's a very easy way to create one of these sprockets or gears or whatever you want to call them and it's very effective also if you animate it correctly or no if you draw it correctly I should say so it's all in the middle here then you can actually use the rotation here to rotate it over time so if I set this to zero set a keyframe and then set it to uh, I don't know something like uh, two or three let's say two and then just hit the play button it will rotate around that center and that is exactly what you would want from a gear so because we set everything to zero and then lined up everything it looks perfect because it is perfect so you want to have more and you want to change them maybe a bit just duplicate this layer uh, offset the layer position so nothing else just the layer position and then you can uh, you can play around with like the rotation a bit so that they actually fit actually the position needs to change a little bit more and now well you can see that if we just yeah currently they rotate the same way so let's hit the R for rotation and make this into hang on going to make this into minus two instead of plus two and then we're going to adjust the rotation just a little bit select both of the oh with shift of course select both of the keyframes and then um, hold control and just drag it until you find that it's acceptable like that so and then if you play no, oh, you have to be in the part where it actually plays. Then, yeah, that's what it looks like. So yeah, it um, it looks like the way it should look. And if you look from afar, obviously that's going to look awesome. You can make them different colors. As I said, you can actually um, decorate them a little bit. As long as you keep it in the shape layer, it should all be fine. So everything will just work out perfectly fine. You can of course make them smaller and things like that but then if you want to have realistic rotation rates you have to calculate that so if you don't know how to do that then just make something up or just do it well just try something and see if it works but anyway hope you learned something and I will see you next time.